So check me out now. Don't chase the women bouncing around from girl to girl because you can't find the right one. First off, the Bible show you what to look for in a woman, how to treat them, how to love her, vice versa. Well, the Bible was written by a man. Let me tell you something. If man wrote it, man could figure it out. But man still trying to figure out the Bible two days, 2,000 years later. Jeremiah 29, 13, God said, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. James 4, 8, come close to God and God will come close to you. So if you haven't already, pray and ask for repentance because God will always respond to a heart of repentance. Turning away from sin is not easy. I get it. But neither was getting that girl number or getting her pennies, but you kept pursuing her. Why? Because you felt she'd be beneficial towards you. Ladies, finessing, collecting that bread wasn't easy, but you kept pursuing it. Why? Because you like nice things. You felt they'd be beneficial towards you. Okay. Having a relationship with Christ would be beneficial towards you when you die and here on earth. So remember, either the word would keep me from sin or sin would keep me from the word. Open your Bible. Start with the four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I love you. Peace. Look. Turning away from sin is not easy. I get it. Sin brings us pleasure. We like fornicating. We like looking at pornography. Hold on. Now, God said, if you just look at someone with lust, you already committed adultery in your heart. Then a lot of y'all like to say, on G, on God, use God's holy name as a cuss word. That's blasphemy. Punishable by death in the Old Testament, bro. That's how serious this is. You wouldn't use your mom's name as no cuss word, now would you? Nah. Why? That's your mom's. You love her. You respect her. So why use the name of the one who gave life to you and your mom's as a cuss word? All this sin that's in our heart is blocking our connection between us and the Lord. Sin creates a barrier. Then you stir up its wrath. Romans 2, 5. But because you are stubborn and refuse to turn away from your sin, you are throwing a terrible punishment for yourself. He going to judge everyone according to what we have done. But hold on now. God is good to us even in our weakest moments, man. I'm trying to tell you. Sin creates a barrier. Confession removes it. 1 John 1, 9. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness.